Hello everyone. This video would focus on conic sections, specifically on parabola with vertex at hk, and this is the third part. In this part, we're supposed to determine the equation of a parabola given the coordinate of the vertex and the endpoints of the latus rectum, and we're supposed to sketch the graph. Before we jump into this example that we have right here, let's have a review on the basics of parabola with vertex at hk. <laughs> We remember that there are four cases of a parabola with vertex at hk. But before we dive into these four cases, let's have the parts of every parabola. The first part that we need to remember is the vertex. So this is located right here. So this is our vertex. And this is actually represented at hk, coordinate hk. Another part that we have is the focus. So this is our focus right here. Now we remember that the location of the focus from the vertex determines where the parabola opens. If the focus is located to the right of the vertex, that means that the parabola will open to the right. On the other hand, if the focus is to the left of the vertex, then the parabola opens to the left. We also remember that the distance from the focus to the vertex is represented as P. And this is also P right here. Another part is the ends of the latus rectum. So these two points that we have here are the two ends of the latus rectum. We need this two ends in order that we can graph the parabola from the vertex. Okay, now we remember that the distance from the focus to one end of the latus rectum is 2p. So I'm going to go ahead and write that up here. We also remember that this value of p here, which is from the vertex to the focus, this value right here will be negative. The reason for that is because it's going to the left. Well, on the other one right here, the value of the p is positive because it's going to the right. Now, another part that we need to remember is the directrix. So this is the directrix right here, represented in a broken line. Now, we also remember that the distance of the directrix from the vertex is also P. So I can go ahead and label that up here. This tells us that the vertex is actually in the middle between the point where the directrix pass through and the focus. So the vertex is in the middle of these two points. Another part of the parabola is the line of symmetry. The line of symmetry will always pass through the focus and the vertex. So this is our line of symmetry. On the right, you will see the first case. I labeled it as case one, and that is when the parabola opens right. And well, case two is whenever the parabola opens to the left. For these two cases, the equation that we are going to use every time will be quantity y minus k squared equals 4 p quantity x minus h. So this is the equation that would work for these two um, cases. We remember that the sign of the p matters between these two uh, graphs. Whenever the p is positive, it opens to the right. Well, if the p is negative, it will open to the left. So they're pretty much the same thing, but the p matters because it determines where the parabola opens. Now let's have the third and the fourth case. The parts of the third and the fourth case are pretty much the same thing. We have the vertex. We also have the focus. Now, looking at this for case three, since we, we again remember that a parabola opens towards where the focus is from the vertex. Since from here, our focus is located above the vertex, the, then the parabola opens up. In this case right here, since our focus is below the vertex, then that means that the parabola will open down. Again, we remember that the distance from the 
vertex to the focus is represented as P. And so from here, we can go ahead and say that the P value here is positive because it's above the vertex, while the P here is negative because it's below the vertex. Now, the other parts would be the ends of the latus rectum. So we're going to need these two points together with the vertex so that we can sketch the parabola. Now, we remember that the distance from the focus to the end of the latus rectum is 2p, and this is also 2p. Same thing for this one right here. This is 2p and 2p. Another part is the directrix. We remember that the directrix is always located opposite to the focus from the vertex. So it's going to be opposite to the focus from the vertex. And then we also have another part here is the line of symmetry. So the line of symmetry is a line that passes through the focus and the vertex. For cases numbers 3 and 4, the general equation of the parabola would be quantity x minus h squared equals 4py minus k. This is the formula that would work for these two cases. Case number 3, when the parabola opens up, and case number four, when the parabola opens down. We remember that if the P is positive, then it opens up. And when the P is negative, then the parabola opens down. Okay, going back to the problem right here, we're supposed to determine the equation of a parabola with vertex at negative 1, 5, and the two ends of the lattice rectum are negative 9, 1, and 7, 1. So the first step that we're going to do is to sketch these three points. So we start with negative 1, 5, so that's negative 1, and we go up 5. This represents our vertex, and that's what it says over there. And the two ends of the latus rectum are at negative 9, 1, and 7, 1. So negative 9 is here. And then we go up 1. And then we also have 7. And we go up 1. So it goes right here. If you notice, we do not have the focus. Now we remember that the focus F is located in the middle between the two ends of the latus rectum. So I go ahead and write that statement up here. So since these are the two ends of the latus rectum, we determine the middle of these two points. So going down one on each of the sides, we can go ahead and determine our middle. And this is the middle right here. So I can go ahead and write this as our focus. So I'm going to label this as F. So the coordinate of the focus here is at 1, 1. So I write that up here. So that's negative 1 and 1. So that's negative 1 and 1. That's the coordinate of the focus. Looking at this, we can tell that our parabola opens downward since our focus is below the vertex. So I'm going to go ahead and write that up here. Since it opens downward, this is case number four. So we're supposed to determine the P. Now we remember that our P is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So in this problem right here, that's going to be one, two, three, four. It's going to be four places. So I write four right here. However, I'm going to put a negative. The reason for that is because our F or the focus is located below the vertex. So I'm going to go ahead and write that up here. Okay, so that from here, we can go ahead and determine the equation of this parabola. Again, this is case number four. So I'm going to write that down here. So this is the general formula for case number four. So we are going to plug the values of H, P, and K. So our H is this and our K is this value. And we also have the P here. So I will plug that in here. So 
So the equation of the parabola is x plus 1 quantity squared equals negative 16 quantity y minus 5. So we go ahead and sketch the parabola. We remember that the directrix is located p distance across the focus from the vertex. So if our p is negative 4, I go the other side 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is where our directrix is going to sit. And the line of symmetry is the line that connects the vertex and the focus. So I'm going to draw the line of symmetry down here. So we have solved this problem right here. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So we are given this vertex right here, and these are the ends of the lattice rectum. So we're gonna sketch these three dots. So these are the three dots. This represents the vertex, and these are the two ends of the lattice rectum. Since we have the two ends of the lattice rectum, we remember that the focus is located in the middle between the two ends of the lattice rectum. So I'm going to write the statement up here. So the middle between these two points is this point right here. So it has to be in line or it has to be um, collinear with that of the vertex through the line of symmetry. So this is our focus. And the coordinate of this focus is 4, 2. So I'm going to write that up here. We remember that looking at this graph right here, this graph is going to open to the right since our focus is to the right from the vertex. It's going to open this way so that we can go ahead and write that statement up here. Since this parabola opens right, so this is an example of the first case. Now, we remember that our P value is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So in this case right here, the distance is 1, 2, 3. So it's going to be 3. And please remember, I will take a positive value because the focus is to the right of the vertex. So I'm going to write that statement right here. Since this is an example of case number one, we can go ahead and determine the equation using the general equation for case number one. I'm going to write that down here. So our next task is to plug in the value of the H. So this represents the H from the vertex to put in the value for the K and then to put in the value for the P. So then our equation would come out. So this is the equation for this problem that we have right there. So we're now ready to sketch the graph. So this is the graph of this problem that we have right there. We remember that the directrix is P units across the focus from the vertex. So if we have 1, 2, 3, I go 3 across. So that's 1, 2, 3. This is where the directrix is going to sit. And our... Line of symmetry is the line that connects the vertex and the focus. So this is where our line of symmetry is going to pass through. So we have solved this given problem right here. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.